Hello all you lovers of dinosaurs out there and welcome back to another of the Isle videos. We are playing as a Stegosaurus which happens to be my favorite dinosaur of all time. Uh, it's not my favorite dinosaur in game I suppose, but it is my favorite dinosaur- what? Where, where am I going now? My favorite dinosaur of real life, of existence. I, I don't know why, I always liked them. I always thought they were cool. I'm pretty sure that the uh, the the spines, I don't know what you want to call them, the plates is what they'd be called, I suppose, on the back uh, were actually used to regulate heat. Just saying. Just saying. One of the things I remember from being a kid. I'm trying to learn back up on dinosaurs, so if you have any dinosaur uh, facts or lore or fun stuff like that that you want to share uh, with me and the rest of the viewers, go ahead and do that in the comments below. I really, really think that it's a lot of fun to read and learn more about the different dinosaurs, many of whom I haven't really thought much about for, for years, years and years, but now that I'm an adult, playing video games, I've reverted back to my childhood, and uh, and I love dinosaurs again, so I'm very excited to see what this game and what other games like it have to offer in the future. So I'm definitely in a very highly populated uh, carnivore area. I'm playing on the Seattle server right now, uh, which is not the best server for my ping, but it's the only server that for whatever reason I can get into. Um, the other servers that are more on the east coast they uh, they tend to, to kick me out and there's only there's typically only room for one or two people in there and then, then they kick me out or they never load I don't know so I play where I can play right now and that's one of the reasons why there's been so few videos on the channel for the aisle I just haven't really been able to find servers that, that have wanted to let me on and after five or six times of being like kicked off a server you kind of start to sit there and go eh I don't even want to play anymore but uh, but hopefully, I'm really hoping that they're gonna have some updates with some new dinosaurs and stuff like that pretty soon. I know that you gotta wait until it's done. You gotta wait until the dinosaur's done and ready to go. But I am excited. I'm hoping to see more of them. And uh, I actually, for one, I know there's a lot of a lot of debate, a lot of discuss as to whether or not there should be um, humans in the game or not. And I, for one, believe that there should be humans. I'm a fan of there being humans. Well then. They got pretty aggressive pretty quickly. He's gonna he's gonna <laughs> dump them off on me, I think. Oh. I need to walk I need to run my, myself away from this edge. So I have more room to maneuver. Pretty much gotta keep the keep the tail towards him. Now I'm pretty sure I have another one on my other side. Oh, I swung the wrong direction. Facing backwards has done that to me. There you go. I got him pretty good too though. But I'm 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 slow I'm limping already. He broke my leg. But I'm not bleeding, which is good. He is. I'm trying my very best to defend myself right here, you guys. I'm trying my very best. If this other T-Rex comes in, it'll be nearly impossible. Get a frontal hit on me very easily. Right now, all I can do is just keep my back to this guy. Keep my tail to him. Really? Really? There you go, the other guy's limping now, and the Allosaurus is the only one that's left on me. Come on, I can almost one shot. Seriously? Come on! Really, guys? I'm gonna kill you now. Wow! Wow! So many of them against me. There wasn't much I could do. Where did the, uh, where the giant, uh, where did the giant chicken go? He was there a minute, and uh, and then he was gone. Then he was gone. All I want to do is have some fun. All I want to do is have some fun. And now I'm, now I'm forever away. Forever and a day almost. Definitely pretty far away at least. Uh, so I'm going to run back and uh, hopefully get some food on my way. That was a shame. It's a shame. 
I try my best, guys, but there, when there's when there's too many from the front and the back, you just can't do too much. Uh, the the T-Rex I could probably have continued to take on, I think. The Allosaurus I think I could have taken on even with the T-Rex, potentially, depending on how they hit me. Um, but with the other T-Rex getting involved in there, I wasn't going to do anything to the other T-Rex. I was just going to let it be. You know, just going to let it be. Let it be, let it be. But uh, uh, he uh, he didn't want to be bead. He wanted to, he wanted to get in on it. Can I eat this guy? I don't think so. Some of them you can eat, some of them you can't. I can't tell the difference yet. Alright, so I'll, I'll pick back up when I'm someplace fun and interesting, guys. Alrighty, so, um, a not-so-brief walk later. We've made it back. However, we're in a, we're pretty hungry. We're in a pretty sorry state right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and head towards the food. I'm gonna keep talking and recording though as I do it. Um, this Rex I think might be interested in having a bite. Oh, there's food up there. Okay, he seems less interested now. Still don't want to run too much because I don't want to run myself out of stamina. In case somebody comes up over one of these hills or something with that hungry look in their eyes. I'm gonna go and get a bite to eat first, and there's a reason for that too. Ideally, before you fight, it is my experience. I don't know if this is in the code or not. I would assume it have to be, but it seems to me like you won't heal if you're not above a certain percentage of food or water, or thirst, I should say, perhaps. And I believe it seems that those percentages are about 80. 80% is kind of high to keep yourself above all the time. Uh, in between things, so I definitely want to fill myself up in case I get into a fight here. I have a chance of healing out of a bleed or a broken leg or something like that. Um, would be beneficial to me to have that, to have that as the case. I wonder. I think that it seems to me. Oh, I said that it, that again. I just said that. I, I shouldn't say things, stupid phrases again and again. But the last time I saw a raptor latched onto a stegosaurus, I think it was underneath his belly. Does that mean if you lay down, you would kill the raptor? <laughs> That's what I want to know. And I, I think that it should be that way. That would be fun. That'd be quite the, uh, quite the cool mechanic, I think, to have. I, I think I'd like it. I think I'd like it quite a bit. But if you remember from that last, from the previous um, little segment there, I was walking with my, like this. This is how I tend to walk as herbivores. When I'm playing carnivore, I tend to walk more with my eyes forward. Um, Focusing on prey and assuming that most people won't try to attack me But uh, when playing a Stegosaurus, especially when it when I'm on a server that's pretty much Controlled right now by carnivores. Uh, I always look over my uh, always look over my shoulders and see as a Stegosaurus or an Ankylosaurus is even more important to do this since this is where the majority of your damage comes from is uh, is from behind you Actually not even the majority all your damage comes from behind you so although I believe that uh, I believe that you have a pretty decent range with the tail whips, so like all the way up to like your side, halfway up your side is pretty much a hitbox, um, is what it seems to me. Now it used to be the Stegosaurus could only, could one shot Allosaurus, and uh, could nearly or actually one shot the Stegosaurus. I think they're or not one shot, but it'd limp them with one hit. But uh, I don't think that's the case anymore. I don't think either of the of the dinos of the Rex. Uh, that I hit earlier, and I did, I, maybe I didn't hit the ankle, the uh, aloe. I thought I had. It looked like I might have, but um, an ankleo definitely should have been limping. I think after one hit, but I do know that the that the uh, stig, did I say ankleo allosaurus probably. Sorry, I do know that the stegosaurus did receive a a pretty decent nerf though on the the attack power of their tail recently. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind too. Uh, progression tier is tier one. I think that um. The Stegosaurus would be a tier two or a tier three herbivore. I'm not really quite sure I remember, but I, I don't know if they're still doing it that way. Uh, I haven't been on the forums in too long. I really need to get back on the forums and uh, get back active in the in the roles of this game because I'm very interested and very kind of invested in, in where it goes. I like to see I like to see where they can do with it. I know that they have a lot of dinosaurs out uh, with this. A lot more dinosaurs than a lot of other games do, uh, as far as playable races and stuff like that. So I'm pretty. When I walk, notice around the tail area, where the where it clips out a bit, the tail and the uh, and the plates, 
and it kind of has like a side to side horizontal thing going on. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Seems to be with the with movement though that it's happening. Uh, I have 30 frames per second anyway. Uh, that's not the point. The point is what I was going to say, what I was trying to say, is that uh, they, they're really, they really, they're trying to do a lot right here. I'm excited for, I want humans to be in the game. I think that humans would be really fun. I want to be a raptor and eat humans. I want to be a human and try to kill raptors that are trying to eat me. I like it. I like that a lot. So I'm okay with that. Although I would probably suggest maybe having some servers that are dinos only. And uh, some server servers that are both. And, uh, and you know, if you own your own server, you could probably change these, turn these on and off as, you know, as per will. And that sounds like it's a pretty cool idea. But I wonder if maybe they're biting off a little bit more than they can chew. I don't think so. I think they can do it. But progress has been a little bit slow recently, and uh, the servers have been a little bit wonky over time. I can't wait to get flying animals in here. I want fish to be put in. Actually, somebody asked me in the comments before, and feel free to add in your own points of view. The only the, the, your favorite dinosaurs, go ahead and tell me in the comments, or the dinosaurs you think should be in, uh, other kind of creatures of this time period you think should be added. I'll put those down in the comments as well. But somebody asked me what I think should be added, and I was saying that I'd really like to see a true like a um, alligator type dinosaur or a shark type dinosaur something that that is primarily lives in the lakes and so you'd spawn only in the lake and uh, I might I'm gonna break my leg if I go over that let's try this one there you go see I'm learning guys I'm learning I'm learning about breaking legs and stuff like that breaking legs taking names but um what, what I was saying it's more important even than breaking legs is that <laughs> I do think that we're getting to the point now where uh, this game is either gonna blow up or it's gonna it's gonna start to shrink it's gonna start to suffer so I'm hoping I'm hoping that, that the team stays uh, stays on this I love this game I really do and I'm very much enjoying it but uh, I want to see this become a full thing I want to see mods I want to see humans all the all the good stuff that I've been so excited for um, but anyway that's just a little bit of talk about the game Let's see what else is going on here now. We're gonna get a drink. We're gonna get a drink and we're gonna focus on survival. We fought for the first portion of this uh, of this playthrough. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna focus on living. I think living is ideal. Living is the best case scenario. There's a lot of carnivores over there, and I don't have much of a doubt that if I went over there myself, they would try to make a quick meal out of, out of me. If I stay over here. One or two of them might come over. Looks like that Karna might actually be ready. We're thinking about it. But, um... Oh, he's coming already, I think. Not very patient, are you guys? There's a Suko, too. I'm gonna try a different te technique this time. I'm gonna try keeping my front almost towards the water. Or at least one side towards the water, I think. Can you leave me alone? Wow, I swung to the wrong side. Really? Oh my gosh. That's ridiculous. There's no use. There's no use being anything but a carnivore right there right now. Ah, oh well. Well, I tried. I didn't I didn't try to pick a fight. I saw two of them coming over and there's just more and more and more coming over. Didn't help that I swung the wrong way with the carno. Would have been nice if I had hit him. Probably would have at least taken him out of the fight, but I don't think it mattered at that point with the with the Rexes closing and everything else. It's a carno run area right now. Ran by the carnos. For the Carnos. Alright. Well, hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, other great awesome fun stuff. Go ahead and give me some tips and tricks too. Maybe for uh, defending as a second source. I was thinking maybe if I kept one side to the to the lake, it'd make it a little bit easier. I don't want to swing to the other side. Um, unless they're directly behind me, I could swing either way. But uh didn't seem to work. <laughs> I wonder what I wonder what would be better off. So go ahead and give me some tips and tricks below. Hope you guys enjoyed, and most importantly, as always, peace out.